going to be doing another review, but this time I'm going to be reviewing my Razer Crazy Cart Shift. And I got this recently, last weekend, um, at Toys R Us. We visited Sacramento, and I got this at Toys R Us. So, we're just going to be reviewing it today, and let's go. So basically what the crazy cart is, it is like a go-kart, but it is electric and it lets you drift easily. What I was calling it, because it's really quick too, I call it a Tesla, that I call it a kids, drifter, kids drifting Tesla. And it's not, I'm, I'm just exaggerating. It's not that quick. It says, it says it has a top speed of 8 miles per hour, but it feels a little bit faster than that. So, yeah, it's got an electric motor. Let's just flip it up like the. It's not the lightest thing in the world, but it's got an electric motor right there. And look at it, it can turn like. Whoop, whoop, can turn 360 degrees. Well, almost 360 degrees. It's got like, it's got uh, like little cartwheels and stuff in the back. So, yeah, here's a view of the underside. So we got razor right here. Do not return to the store. Um, yeah, wiggly, wiggly, wiggly. If you're wondering how it drives, I will be doing that shortly, but. First of all, I just want to get like a good cinematic so you know what it looks like. Here's the gas pedal right here. Bling, bling. The steering wheel, of course, the arrow points to where you want to turn. And this has no e-brake because this is not a regular crazy cart. It's crazy cart shift, as I said before. And it's got, yeah, as you can see, the wheels do turn more than 360 degrees, but it does not like to go in reverse. Like, watch this. Try to go backwards, and it really resists, and then it just goes right forward again. It's kind of weird, but that's just how it works, I guess. So now, the driving. So, it is quite simple, but here's one tip. Do not touch this unless you are inside the cart. So do not turn it on when you're out of the cart, and don't turn it off when you're out of the cart. Just only turn this on and off when you're in the seat. Because I don't really know necessarily why, but that's just what it says on the instructions. And so yeah, there it says right there. Exactly. It's exactly what it says, so... Let's turn it on, because I'm in the cart, and we shall be going. Let's go. I'm coasting! Alright. Let's just go for a little drive around the street. So you can hear, still coasting, but... Sideways, and now we should demonstrate spinning. 
demonstrating how to exit the vehicle. So what you do, find a good parking spot. In this case, it is my garage, right here by these olive branches. Ah, oh, pillow. Not good! Okay. So, first what you gotta do, turn the off switch. Um, if you want, you can take your helmet off and reveal your messy helmet. But then put this here. Oh, whoa, that's not the way it's there. The car is tilting. But there you have it, the Razor Crazy Car Ship. Um, I think usually it is here. Look at this right here. Usually it is $200, but I got it on sale for $150. And so yeah, here's this hub motor technology, just like, here's the box right here. It is for younger ages, but still it's fun, because it says, new simplified version of the crazy cart allows younger drivers to easily spin, drift, and drive in every direction. Eight and up, I am uh, definitely older than eight, I mean... Why would I have, like, why would I want to, well, why would I have a YouTube channel if I was younger than eight? But anyway, that's the same dude right there. And same with that. Mm. See, so yeah, that's an example here. Hub motor, vibral, variable speed, foot, variable speed, foot pedal accelerator, and hub wheel, wide wheel base. There's that picture, and there's mine. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little review of my Crazy Cart Shift. Um, it's really fun. If you have a Toys R Us near where you live, I recommend checking it out. Um, there was a sample one that was just out that you could sit in and like get to know, which is why I wanted that because I sat in it and like did. I'm like, whoa, this thing is awesome. So I got it, and yeah, I haven't even had this thing for a week yet. I only got it this Sunday, and today is Thursday, so I got it Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Got it five days ago. So I'll see you all next time. And goodbye. Wait, that's not my face. Goodbye.